Too many boxes. I need to go upstairs. Ah! Oh, dear. I've never carried a penguin upstairs before. But I suppose it's the first time for everything. Oh, oh, oh. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. I will enjoy the meal with Dillis. Oh, why did I say yes? She'll only do those stuffed peppers again. Oh, dear. Help! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh, you are back. How did it go? Oh, we didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store. And Dillis Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store. And Dillis Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs. Yes, there. Danny and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? The chances are pretty high, Elvis. Norman. Sam's on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the Penguin. Firefighter Dillis. Firefighter Sam. Air 100%. Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! Oh! Oh! Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> oh! Oh, it smells all fishy! I'm sorry I didn't take the penguin back to the zoo. I just thought it might like to live in my house. You need to know how to look after an animal before you try and give it a home, Norman. Animals are kept in exactly the right habitat in a zoo and have expert keepers looking after them. And I should have been more careful with those whiffy candles, Sam, and not block the door with those boxes. Well, I'm sure you won't be doing that again, Dillis. Shaky, 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 Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some grit left. Marvellous! That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a word! Uh -huh. I'm fine! Good job we've got some grit left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam? Shaky, shaky, Ellie. I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. Oh, <gasps> don't listen to him, Pengy. Come on, we'll show them. Norman! But the... that's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you were a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. <laughs> Off the ice, everyone! I can't! <gasps> Whoa! I better call Fireman Sam! Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. Gareth is missing on the mountain. It's in the storm. Gareth was with the children. They must be up there too. We'd 
better take Saturn. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Grandad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. Okay, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. Ah! Come on, Phoenix, let's get out of here. is ready to launch some. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. <sighs> there. All balanced. Thanks, Elvis. We'll store the pieces here until we can return them. Sorry. One more piece. Oh. 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 Lady Puffleballs and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Puffleballs and Norman have fallen into the river. Bring Saturn. My Norman's downstream. Heading down the way. Water. The dogs down. Trevor and my sausage rolls. Stay calm. We'll find them. I'm launching Saturn now. There he is. Norman, grab on to this. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. Gotcha! Come in, Elvis. 
Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, and very licky. Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way! Dogs are naughty! You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else, I... Fire at the Lido. The Froggy Fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the Lido. The Froggy Fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. Right away, Sam. To the Lido! James? James! Oh, no! Here comes Tom and Fireman Sam! Stand back, everyone! Sam, we can't find James. He didn't do his froggy finale and He's locked in the changing rooms! What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut! I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him, and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh, no. What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. I'm ready for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just loading up. It's all right, James. Stand back. Uncle Sam! I got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. OK, Tom. <laughs> I've got it all under control. We're safe, everyone, but the fire's still burning. Tom, more water. Use the hoses, too. I'm sorry, everyone. Sorry, James. So you should be, Norman. Trapping someone anywhere is a very dangerous thing to do. When everything's fixed, we're doing the froggy fantasy again, but you're not going to be in it. Ha! Ah. Yes, someone else can play your part, Norman. You'll be doing fire safety lessons with me. Ah, quite right. Thank goodness for some splendid firefighting. You did a good job, Quillington. Sneezes and all. <laughs> Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I did it! I got out of my animal rescue uniform! I'm ready to fight the fire! I'm sorry, Elvis, it's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait, it's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no! That might be on fire, too! I'm on my way! One 
hundred percent. Power's off. I'm really sorry. I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mum or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. And now Grandad doesn't have any pizzas for his railway gala. I think I might know where I can get hold of some food. I hope Fireman Sam gets here soon with some food. Me too. I'm really hungry. Oh, here's Sam now. I wonder what he's brought. Oh. But... Well, I never... It can't be. <gasps> Bella lasagna. Bella lasagna? Bella lasagna. It's a so good to see you all. And when Fireman Sam said that you had an emergency, I fired up my pizza oven. And she made as many pizzas as she could. <laughs> Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sink? Oh, no, not you again. Shoo, shoo. <gasps> no, stop that. Get off. Hang on, Mandy! Hang on, Norman! I'm slipping! Oh. oh! Thank you, Fireman Sam! Thank you, Elvis! Wait, what? <laughs> Fireman Sam. But it was that nasty seagull's fault. Norman, it was our fault. We should have waited like my dad told us. Ah, <sighs> Mandy's right. We should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both okay. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh. <sighs> now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Uh, when it's Freddy, Mike, can I have the first bounce? Ah, Station Officer Steele. How's Elvis getting on with my passion fruit and pecan pavlova? You said you'd ask Elvis to make it for me. Oh, that. I, uh, <laughs> well, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, Billis. Oh, no. But the fishy fun day starts in half an hour. Um, Quidlington, I need you in the kitchen immediately. Sorry, Station Officer Steele. I'm playing at the Fishy Fun Day. Don't want to let my fans down. But I need you to make a dessert. Someone say they needed a dessert? Oh, oh, no. I, I, I'm seeing double. He's not me, sir. He's my cousin. I'm Jerry Lee. Jerry Lee Cridlington. Another Cridlington? Oh. oh, you should ask Jerry Lee. He's an even better cook than me. Ta-da! One passion fruit and pecan pavlova.
Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountains, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. What happened? We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. No! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Okay, Mandy. Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. What's that? You stay there, Gareth. As I'm the king of dragons, I just want to add some last-minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire-breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever! Ah! Behold! My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Whoa! And it's coming towards us! Oh! Oh no! It's rolling towards the station! I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. Oh, that's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Ooh. Thank you, Sam. Well, Eddie, I might not have got into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Albus. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No. Far worse. Flyers above the train top. No worries, Sam. Lord Maxwell, look! Your phone call worked! <gasps> it's a UFO! UFO! Aliens! Oh, Norman? Shh, I'm hiding from the aliens! Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue centre till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. 
That's it. Snow! Drop me off here, Tom. I'm so sorry, Sam. That'll teach me to wear a cardboard box on my head. You mean an astronaut's helmet, Gareth? <laughs> oh, yes. This way, everyone. The clouds are lifting. I'm sorry I tried to play a prank on you, James. I wasn't really fooled. I know aliens aren't real. Oh, yes, they are. One visited my house last night. Really? Yes. He was a little green man with seven eyes, twelve tentacles, a purple moustache, and he... Oh! Wow! The Northern Lights! The Aurora Borealis? Aren't they amazing? I tell you what's really amazing. Norman isn't saying anything. One small step for Norman. One giant leap for mankind. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Hey! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. Told you! It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You OK, Hannah? I didn't finish. Off you go. Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Huddle like the wind! <gasps> Whoa! You did, Hannah. 
We knew you would, didn't we? Yeah. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hada! It's all right, James. Nearly there. Ah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever. It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, OK? Yes, sir. Faster! Faster! Oh, this car chasing looks incredible. Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman. Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James. This is the bit where you have a spectacular crash. I can't do it! It's okay, James. I'll call Fireman Sam. This McChin fellow is top notch. <laughs> Reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go kart heading for the key. James Jones is in a runaway go kart heading towards the key. That's what I said. Wow! Amazing rescue, Uncle Sam. You were supposed to hit the boxes. Uh, I may as well be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman. I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. OK, Norman. This is going to be amazing! Hang on, where are the oars? They're not here. Is there anything else we could use? Ooh, floppy shovels! They'd be perfect! Oh, uh, watch out, Norman. Now oh, I've lost my paddle. I think I can reach it. Oh, no, now I've lost mine. We're floating away. Only one thing for it. <coughs> What's that? That's Norman and Derek. Oh, dear. Sam, help! We can't get back! Grab hold of the end! Simon, Sam, thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Ah, you see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. <laughs> <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, oh yes, us. <laughs> yes. I'll, I'll just get my helmet. Well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. But 
Where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. Okay, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well then, boy. You deserve your favourite chocolate treat. No, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving him lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes. Maybe a few. Mystery solved. <gasps> Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Tom. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. See him, boy. Gotcha. You have to be much more careful, Trevor. You could have been badly injured. You're right, Sam. I think my tree climbing days are over. It's my fault you were in the tree in the first place, Trevor. I'm so sorry. We just needed to find the fox. The fox? I'm so sorry, Mum. I forgot you told me that the fox was a wild animal. Because I thought it looked like a dog and I opened the cage to feed it and it escaped. You mean that fox? Yes, that one. Me and Norman tried to find it, but we couldn't find it anywhere and... Back? He found his own way home. Looks like he knew when his feeding time was. Well, it looks like everybody's happy. Does that mean that nothing was actually my fault? Wait a minute. You said that some foxes were just like dogs. Uh, well, maybe that one wasn't. Or uh, maybe I was thinking about some other animal. Wolves? Oh, uh, pandas! Fish! Unicorns! That fog is going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Pontypandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current's quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! What a gift to be back in my helicopter! The wind is northwest, the tide turns in three hours, plus there's a spring current running. There! That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam! Come in, Sam! Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Pontypandy Island and a lot further out from the shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I've fished here for years, Sam. 
I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, sir. Hang on, kids. <laughs> I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Hey! Yes! The beauties! Oh, you found me! There you go, Tom. Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be out there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> oh, Dad is the best! He's the coolest Dad ever! All those who agree, sound your horns! <laughs> Fire at the flats! It's okay, sir. I've got this under control. My poor, innocent village. Behold, my spectacular circus sheep! Now this is entertaining. Wait till you see them jump the trembling tower of crockery! Jump, my woolly wonders! <laughs> Better call for him and Sam. There is a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. There's a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> you, my model village. We'll need to act fast and set up a blockade. Right. We'll need Arnold, Ellie, and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street, and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. Rounding up the runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. Uh... Uh... <laughs> Come back here, you scabby man. Goal? Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... <laughs> what? Food. <laughs> What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. Oh, it's not fair. I'm missing the match and all because of this silly pizza. Uh. 
Now this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. Oof. Ooh, my back. That pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh, no! Ah! There is a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. Penny, we'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. Air, 100%. I'm glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames, because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. I'm sorry, Fireman Sham, and I'm sorry, Bella. I just wanted to watch the football, but I should have been concentrating on the pizzas. Oh, I understand, Norman. After all, I love my football as much as you. Really? happened there? We're really sorry, Fireman Sam. We won't do any dangerous treasure hunting ever again. I'm glad to hear it. Still, it really is a shame that treasure is lost forever. Lost forever, Penny? Hmm. Today is Ponty Pandy Pete Day. But sadly, the treasure of Ponty Pandy Pete has been lost. It wasn't my fault. But at least someone's going to be playing the part of Ponty Pandy Pete. <laughs> Aren't they, sir? Oh, uh, yes. Well, th I have, of course, been thinking long and hard about this one. And I... Um, well... Big Tangled Hoses! What was that? Aha, sir! Did you be wanting to see the treasure? Penny must have swum down and found it! <laughs> oh, well done, Firefighter Morris! <laughs> I think you might have found your Ponty Pandy pizza. I have indeed! Ponty Pandy Penny! <laughs> Thank you. 
There you go. I say. We're back. Oh. Oh. Uncle Sam, they spotted something else. But it's not in the house. What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain. That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. We have to contain the fire. I'm on it. That's dampened it down, Penny, but we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. Do nicely. I'm sorry, Sam. We got a bit carried away making the giant bear and just remember to keep your wicker animals a safe distance from your campfire and your campfire a safe distance from your tents. You two should have known better. Yes, yes Sam. Sam. Congratulations, everyone. You all get your bushcraft badges. Hooray! And James gets a special fire marshal badge for spotting the blaze. Yay! <laughs> Shoo! Well, at least we managed to break the record for the world's tallest wicker bear. Although it is lying down. And on fire. We could always make another one. After all, we, we are, are the, the wild men of Pundy Pandy! I was afraid they were going to say that. Me too, Trevor. Oh, well, this is intolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. Quiddington, I need your help. I am going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. Okay, sir. Going, sir. Keep going. It's, oh. No, wait, what happened? Ridlington. Oh dear. Oh, that was totally brilliant. That's because you got to sit in the middle. Right then. Who's next? Me, it is me. me! It's me! Me, please! Okay, then. Room for two more. Ah. Move along now, please. Nothing to see here. <laughs> hey, Joe! Lizzie! Come and have a look at this! <sighs> Where the 
keep in the fireworks? There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. That lot could go up like a rocket. There's a fire in the tent where they're keeping the fireworks. We need you back here now, Sam. Roger that, sir. could go off at any moment. Mike, what have you done? Oh, hello. Penny, you keep the firework boxes hosed up. I'll tackle the rest of the fire. Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Philip, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter Morris, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Oh, hello, Ponty Pandy. Done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right, all clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. There's a place I know where the people say hello Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it all the way up, Joe! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take this. I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! Anything but uh, make a mummy. But so this game is called In the Tale on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? My house! My bum! Ah, this is so nice and peaceful. We have to call Fireman Sam. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Station Officer Steele has finally given up on the toppy uppons. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! There is a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. The fire's getting worse. Everyone, lie down on the floor. Get as low as you can. Come on, let's do as Penny says. The door is blocked. 
gate and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Ready, Elvis. Ready, Sam. Air, 100%. Air, 100%. Back, everyone. One at a time. Take my hand and stay low. All the children are out, sir, but keep everyone back until we have this fire under control. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you 